Hello everybody, um, welcome to my next tutorial. <coughs> um, uh, this one is to continue. Um, this is the ending to the map class um, section for now. Um, a lot of things happened today and I expected to really make videos all day for you. That's why I said it's going to happen. It's going to end Monday, but it didn't go as planned. And Sunday I'm really busy. So it looks like Monday all day I'm going to be having to make videos after my exams. <coughs> but that really shouldn't be hard. But anyways, uh, let's get right into these two tutorials. So last time, um, we basically uh, said that we we're going to draw a, a square with a certain color with the width and height um, <coughs> um, depending on the number we put in our text file in our map file so uh this is our oh no this is not our map this is our map file right here and give me a second because i um if you have noticed i switched to visual studio um so i have to transfer my files uh so just give me a second map one okay so one thing I forgot to do is to include the global.h. <coughs> you have to include that because that is stored. Um, the block size is stored in global.h. So once you have that, um, so we got that set. So one is going to draw the sky, two is going to draw the ground. Okay. <coughs> so now we just have to put in our code. So for our map class, we're not going to have anything for the update. We can have something later, but not now. Okay, so let's go to our main.cpp, and we have map.h included over here. And let me scroll down and create an instance of your map class, just like we did for the player and camera class, and name it lowercase map, and do init to initialize. Um, so we load all the map files. And I put map.update here, um, even though there's nothing in the update function. If we ever if we ever update it in the future or whatever, then it will already be in our code. And put map.draw before you draw everything else. Because you are drawing everything to the screen, right? And you're drawing the map to the screen and then you have to draw the player on top of the map file. If you draw the map after the pay player, then it's going to overlap the player and we won't be able to see a red box. So make sure it's before the player. It's in um, procedural order. So um, that's basically it. So let's test out our code. So as you can see, we have nothing right now. So let's check our code. <coughs> oh, see f um, for our map init. We forgot. I forgot to put the load map function in there. Now, what we're gonna do is put map load map map one dot txt. Sorry, dot one dot txt. And that's it. So let's run our program. And voila, let me zoom out here. As you can see, we got a nice uh, light blue, blue background um, with uh, some green grass on the bottom. And if we move, um, as you can see, the screen scrolls. Basically, when the screen is scrolling, it's just showing a different portion of the map. Um, so it's, it looks like the map is moving towards the left. It's just a different portion of the map that we're showing. And when we move, so then it looks like it's giving the scrolling effect. So that's basically it. <coughs> so this um this was a short tutorial, I know, but I just had to finish off um explaining the map class. Um, if you had anything that was confusing in this video or in the map class itself, um, throughout these three videos, then comment below. I will be sure to get back to you. Also, inbox me. Um. I people have been inboxing me code they want help with. Um, I'm sorry if I haven't gotten back to you yet or anything. It's because I'm really busy. I don't really have time to really look over the code and stuff like that. 
but whenever I get the time I will look over it so you can still send me your coding errors in my inbox but if I don't get back to you right away you know the reason why so anyways thanks for watching this um and bye and I think the next tutorial will be on collision and this is gonna be a fun one so that's it for now later